Welcome to the electrifying world of F1 racing. Get ready, racing enthusiasts. Despite their contentious relationship the last time they worked together, Fernando Alonso claimed he would love to complete his Formula 1 career as Lewis Hamilton's teammate. This happens immediately after the two Formula 1 veterans, who have been podium regulars for a while now, started this season. With McLaren, Hamilton made his Formula 1 debut as a rookie, sharing the track with Alonso. The Spaniard, who was also in his first season with the team, came from Renault, where he had recently won back-to-back -back championships and cemented his position as a driver to beat on the grid. In the McLaren team from that year, rookie Lewis Hamilton raced alongside Fernando Alonso, a two-time world champion. The intense rivalry between Hamilton and Alonso produced a number of contentious incidents between the two. The oldest driver on the grid was speaking about this when he noted that while they had a challenging year as partners, they now respect each other for their respective accomplishments. Not that Hamilton was afraid to take on the challenge. They tied for second place in the standings at that season's end, but only after a fighting so bitterly on and off the track that the Spaniard was replaced after a year and McLaren was left traumatised by the ordeal. As previously noted, both drivers experienced hardship with McLaren in 2007. Several seasons later, both races are making headlines for very different reasons. On a team, having two extremely alpha individuals rarely results in success. Ron Dennis went through this while Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso were McLaren drivers. Let's quickly review the pair's professional careers. Alonso joined McLaren with the goal of becoming the best driver. His notion, however, was incorrect because Hamilton, a novice teammate, proved to be equally quick as him side by side. Hamilton earned his first world title with the team in 2008 after Fernando Alonso left the organization following the 2007 campaign. The former Ferrari driver said that Ron Dennis and other McLaren executives poorly handled the issue during the 2007 rivalry. Alonso emphasized their innocence and youth by claiming that the board failed to assist them when they most needed it. The former Alpine driver, who has since undergone a transformation, has acknowledged that there were many things in 2007 that they are not now. The two-time world champion said that he felt excluded from the squad because he thought that Hamilton, the seven-time world champion, was the only person on whom the team was concentrating. In five of the six races, Hamilton defeated Alonso to claim victory. However, during qualifying in Hungary, there was strong evidence of animosity between the two. Lewis Hamilton was instructed to let Fernando Alonso pass him during the opening round of qualifying so that Alonso could complete a quick lap unhindered. However, Hamilton disobeyed and set the top time in Q2, with around 2 minutes and 30 seconds left. Alonso made sure he had the clear air he needed by putting for new tyres and delaying his exit from the pit box by more than 30 seconds, trapping Hamilton in his wake. As a result, Hamilton lost out on a final run by about 5 seconds. Although Alonso initially held the pole, the stewards downgraded him to second place in Q3 so Hamilton could take the position. Thus, despite the daunting task of teaming up with the driver for the entire season, Hamilton rose to the occasion and finished the campaign tied on points with Alonso. They both finished the 2007 Formula 1 season on exactly the same 109 points and 4 points each. However, Kimi Raikkonen and Ferrari won the championship that year, narrowly defeating the McLaren team by one point. Alonso found this to be a difficult reality, and he sought special treatment from Rom Dennis, the McLaren team manager. Tensions amongst the drivers, both on and off the track, increased when Ron refused. Alonso eventually left after things eventually got worse. The Spaniard recently revealed to the Daily Mail that he would prefer to end his racing career riding together with his former teammate. Alonso has finished in the P3 position in each of the three races this season thanks to the incredible advancement of Aston Martin in their F1 history. This is the team's greatest performance to date. Dennis eventually acknowledged that he and Alonso did not get along. He continued by saying that he and Fernando have been very chilly connection. We'll never know if Alonso and Dennis would have gotten along as if they did without Lewis. It is sufficient to state that the two drivers were likely to become tense. However, if we go back to last season, we can still sense the stress in the relationship. After clashing with him at the Belgian GB in 2022, Fernando called Lewis an idiot. Although Alonso later expressed regret for the incident, the news had already spread. The 2012 title race may have included in Hamilton and McLaren as well, but due to unreliability and operational flaws, it ultimately came down to a brawl between Sebastian Vettel of Red Bull and Fernando Alonso of Ferrari. A true Hamilton versus Alonso fight had tantalized us, but had not quite materialized. Though not as frequently as you might assume, the two has clashed swords on the track. 
It brings to mind their fight in the closing moments of the 27 Mexican Grand Prix, as well as a pointless fight for 17th position during the 2009 Grand Prix, which got the fans cheering despite the fact that McLaren and Alonso's Renault were not competitive that weekend. However, this is a far cry from the ages spanning conflicts that seemed certain at the end of 2007. The unresolved ebbs and flows of their careers primarily for the better for Hamilton and the worse for Alonso prevented them from realising what they could and should have in Formula 1. The pivotal moment occurred at the beginning of the V6 Turbo Hybrid era in 2014, which put Hamilton on the road to becoming a seven-time world champion and signalled the beginning of Alonso's protracted period of exile from Formula 1. And he's still there, because the Alpine still isn't a vehicle fit for his skills, despite the crucial role he played in ensuring teammate Esteban Ocon won in Hungary. Although it seems unlikely, there is still a chance that Hamilton and Alonso will face off again for the championship in the future. Both drivers are nearing the end of their F1 careers, and while Mercedes can probably be counted on to lead the pack under the new rules for the following season, asking Alpine to give Alonso a title-challenging vehicle may be asking too much. But on the other hand, predictions made at the end of 2007 were often wrong since things rarely turn out as planned. Therefore, it is possible that Alonso and Hamilton will square off in a title match, meeting our expectations once more. Imagine performing those Hungarian GP laps on the biggest platform for an entire season, potentially with Max Verstappen in the mix. However, they are now both older, more responsible and seeking the same thing. Before ending their trophy-laden careers, Hamilton and Alonso are keen for one final taste of F1 glory. Unexpectedly, Alonso appears to be in the strongest position now to mount a title push. Since new car regulations went into effect at the beginning of last season, Mercedes has lost its competitive edge. According to the Spaniard, Aston Martin is now recognised as a frontrunner at the ideal time. Although Fernando Alonso is having a remarkable comeback at the front of the Formula 1 grid, he remains realistic about what he can do in the years left in his career. Alonso, the oldest driver on the grid at 41, is aware that his days driving a competitive Formula 1 car are numbered, even if he has no plans to retire anytime soon. He also relished the opportunity to win a third world championship over two decades after his previous successful season, when he faced the Red Bull team of Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez in the title race. He placed third in both of the season's opening races at the age of 41, and it appears like he could be the Red Bull's main competition this year. The majority of observers think that Hamilton and Alonso's relationship is still tense as a result of their time spent together at McLaren. The Spaniards claim that they formally respected one another and still do. With 45 points after three races, Fernando Alonso is third in the driver's standings for this season. Lewis Hamilton, who is fourth place with 38 points, is right behind him. With the projected upgrades from Mercedes, the rankings may change later in the season. As the season goes on, it will be fascinating to observe how Aston Martin handles the obstacles posed by the advancement of their competitors. Alonso will break records and become the oldest Formula 1 champion since Juan Manuel Fangio in 1957 if he does manage to capture another championship. Due to Red Bull's apparent dominance this season, Alonso will need considerable performance improvements from Aston Martin or some unlucky Verstappen and Perez for him to win that coveted third Drivers' Championship. Verstappen and Perez both won for Red Bull in Bahrain and Australia. Red Bull has won all three races this season. The only realistic chance that the seven-time champion and Alonso to compete in the same setup would come if the Brit negotiated a trade to Aston Martin as George Russell, Hamilton Mercedes teammate, is a long-term staple in the Mercedes ranks. However, Hamilton recently reaffirmed his dedication to Mercedes, stating that the former McLaren protégé intends to follow in the footsteps of Sterling Moss by serving as a brand ambassador for the three-pointed star after his racing career. Lance Stroll's position is also unlikely to ever be seriously threatened because of Lawrence Stroll's role as team owner of Aston Martin. Last time out at the Australian Grand Prix, Hamilton and Alonso shared the podium for the first time since the Qatar Grand Prix in 2021. Alonso eventually switched from Alpine to Aston Martin to test Canadian driver Lance Stroll, whose father Lawrence controls the team. This reason alone makes it unlikely that Lawrence would ever consider removing his son from the Aston Martin driver lineup. But if the team's top driver, Alonso, is truly interested in the chance to reunite with Hamilton as a teammate, then this may cause problems for Lance. Due to a pre-season cycling accident, Lance missed testing, but miraculously made it back in time for the Bahrain season opener. Lawrence Stroll may decide to consider this option because Alonso would like to partner with Hamilton, and Hamilton hasn't yet committed to Mercedes beyond 2023. Aston Martin is no longer midfield team and appears to be well on their way to the upcoming title challenges Lawrence Stroll craves. In that regard, perhaps a Mercedes power team will be sufficient for Hamilton as he pursues that record-breaking 8th World Championship as he stated that he is Mercedes for life. 
In 2022, according to Fernando Alonso, Max Verstappen's World Championships are more valuable than Lewis Hamilton's. Michael Schumacher and Hamilton both have seven championships to their name. But 41-year-old Fernando Alonso claimed that both drivers simply needed to defeat their respective teammates to be successful. Alonso was speaking ahead of this weekend's Mexican Grand Prix. With Renault, Alonso won back-to-back -back titles in 2005 and 2006, ending Schumacher's reign of terror, while Verstappen defeated Hamilton in the 10th championship race of the previous year. In 2008 with McLaren, Hamilton defeated Felipe Massa of Ferrari to win his first championship. He also defeated Sebastian Vettel, who was competing in a Mercedes that was occasionally inferior to the German Ferrari, to win the 2017 and 2018 titles. Last year, Alonso claimed in an interview with a Dutch newspaper, De Telegraph, that competing against rivals and taking home fewer victories is more admirable than simply having to defeat your teammate and taking home more victories. Between 2014 and 2020, Mercedes predominated the Formula 1 paddock, winning seven consecutive drivers' titles, with Hamilton taking home six of those victories. But Hamilton didn't waste any time in reminding the Spaniard that they once worked in the same garage at McLaren. The picture of Hamilton on the podium, with his right arm extended and resting on Alonso's shoulder, was shared by a British superstar on Twitter. Later, Alonso corrected his comments in a social media post, saying that each title is distinct from the next, but Hamilton's remark was the one that really got Formula 1 fans worked up, since so many people enjoyed how petty everything was. Although they spent a very tense year together at McLaren, they have only come to respect one another over time. Recently, both are anticipating a clash between their two respective teams for second in the Constructors' Championship, as Red Bull seems unassailable at the head of F1 field. After three flyaway races, Alonso claims that when Formula 1 returns to the end of the month, it will begin a fierce development race that might be crucial to the outcome. Lewis Hamilton had the opportunity to discover the advantage of the Aston Martin AMR23 while leading Fernando Alonso for the majority of the Formula 1 Australian Grand Prix. After running closely with his former teammate for the whole of the race, Hamilton took second place in Albert Park, one position ahead of him. After the race, Alonso claimed he felt faster than the Mercedes in front of him but was unable to get close enough to make an attempt. Alonso claimed that his sole error was a lock break at turn 13, while Hamilton likewise had a nearly flawless race. Since pre-season testing, Mercedes has been openly critical of its car for missing against competitors like Red Bull. The time Hamilton spent competing against Alonso in Melbourne gave him another window into the W14's flaws. Mercedes is third in the constructor standings after Hamilton's second place at Albert Park, the team's only podium finish this year. Due to their third and fourth places in Melbourne, Aston Martin now leads its engine supplier by nine points going into Azerbaijan. But do you think Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso can end up being F1 teammates again? We'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like and subscribe buttons. Most importantly, don't forget to click the bell icons to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Also, feel free to leave a remark if you have any recommendations for videos. Have a great day everyone and thanks once again.